a Brooklyn mobster was a true wise guy when it came to making deals in a hot real estate market, but he was a real dummy about paying taxes, authorities say. Salvatore, Sally, DeMio, 77, was busted on tax evasion charges Thursday as federal prosecutors claim he failed to report $2 million in capital gains. The reputed Genovese soldier also stiffed Uncle Sam out of $367,000 in taxes, prosecutors say. The old fella is making a quick return trip to the halls of justice. Just last month, DeMio was sentenced to five years probation after pleading guilty in Brooklyn Supreme Court to his role in a loan sharking and gambling racket. The new tax charges aren't mob related, but prosecutors call DeMio a longtime, loyal member of the Genovese crime family. His criminal past includes a 2002 Brooklyn federal court plea connected to a bank stick-up and an armored car heist. DeMio inherited shares of valuable pieces of downtown Brooklyn land from his dad, the indictment said. Between 2013 and 2014, he and others sold off all their shares of the property along Atlantic Avenue, Pacific Street, Bond Street and Shermerhorn Street for $18.20 million. But DeMio didn't want the feds dipping into his share, prosecutors say. As a result, he had the checks on his proceeds cut into eight small portions and he put most of the money in accounts that weren't his, prosecutors charged. He deposited about $1 million in an account for a plumbing business he didn't own. Prosecutors said DeMio kept it all in the family because the business was run by another Genovese member. DeMio is also suspected of cutting a $355,000 check to a person with an unlicensed check cashing business. The money, minus a fee, funneled back to DeMio, according to court papers. Most notorious mobsters of New York he was released on a $2 million bond, despite prosecutors' protests and concerns he is a flight risk. DeMio's lawyer, Gary Farrell, said his client wasn't going anywhere or hanging with the wrong crowd. They want him to stay out of the social clubs. But the social club days are over. That's the old Sal. Farrell said in court. Organized crime members are on notice that this office and its law enforcement partners will hold them accountable for such economic crimes no less than for their traditional schemes and offenses, Brooklyn Executive U.S. Attorney William Mueller said. Federal guidelines say the graying gangster could face more than three years in prison if convicted.